Hi, it's Jess here. Thank you for joining me today. So it is a charity shop haul and I haven't crafted all week. So I'm filming this on Saturday. You'll see this on Sunday. And um, I realised last night that I hadn't, um, didn't have a charity shop haul or any haul scheduled for tomorrow. So I thought I'd better do one. And I did, I was away last weekend, but I did pick up a few things in the week. And um, I've all week I've been sorting out my craft room and so I haven't really crafted and then I found this shelf and it was full of this and it was like I haven't shown this I have no idea how old this is and I've forgotten what's in it so let's 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 go and discover together so yeah so what have we got on the top here Pittman's shorthand commercial course I do love shorthand books because I just think they're just really interesting um, pages for journals so I always pick them up when when I see them so yep loving that that can now go on my shelf oh I've got a bunch of postcards oh they're nice do not remember getting these at all at all at all um, 1911 that's nice and they used to I've got a book on the history of postcards so the back was just for the address and um, the front was where you wrote your message so that's cool um, I'm not about to start reading that here we've got Miss Eva Moore and, and, and that one's plain um, that looks like is that Venice? <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh I've just made myself really laugh so I was looking at that thinking oh, you know there's water there um, is it Venice? Um, and um, <laughs> it's it's whole dark. Um, <laughs> just make me laugh so much. So that's Hull. That's the centre of Hull. Um, and we used to have ships call, come all the way up here. It's not now. It's a shopping centre. But that's proper made me giggle. Oh my lord! Thinking it was Venice. What you like, Jez? Right. I'm not even going to now pretend to know where anything is unless I see it written down so that is in Brussels that's a monument in Brussels and I think written up beautiful beautiful that's also Brussels it kind of you can kind of see that they're sort of made at the same time really they've got the same back in love them um what have we got here Windsor new lodge at Windsor right that going in my royal journal I've got oh actually it's here so I've got a load of postcards here that are all related to royal houses um, and that to go in the royal journals. So that's where that's going. And then I just pulled a load of stuff on my desk. You would not believe Well, you probably would, actually, if you've seen any of my craft room tours. Just there. Starts about there. You can see my hand. And it's piled about 10 inches tall because I'm sorting out. This is the cathedral in Cape Town. That's really nice as well. Not written on. Well, there's a little bit there written on. Who have we got here? This is Genova. So that's nice. So I guess you'd have written your dress. And look, you'd have squeezed in some writing down there. That's what that strip's for. Amazing. Oh, that's pretty. The Rose Gardens, Haysham Head. Oh, it's written on. Oh, love it. So 1946. That's really nice. I do love it. Oh, I've got a receipt there. I don't know what that's for. That might give me an indication. 2nd of the 12th, 23. Right. So, yeah. These were last year's. Just before Christmas. So that's West Ella, that's near Hull. Isn't it pretty? Hull has a really bad reputation some, in some places, although it's getting better and it is a lovely place. So that is not got a date on it, but I'll be able to date it by the king that's on there. But it, it's, it's escaped me now. Um, and that's Hull again. So I've got two from Hull. That's Victoria Pier in Hull, which I don't. it doesn't exist anymore. But... How fab's that? Don't think it exists anymore. So yeah, so it's a nice lot of postcards. So I've got photo albums that I put postcards in 
So that's cool. What have I got here? Absolutely no idea. What have I got here? Canterbury Cathedral. People have written on it. I have absolutely no idea where this came from and why there's writing on it and what it means. But hey ho, I've got it, don't know what it is. Oh, what have we got here? We've got, what would Jesus do? In his steps, what would Jesus do? Okay, oh, look at that. So 1913, this is, I do love that. Oh, look at that drawing, that was picture, painting, whatever. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it when you get the little bit of tissue at the front. So, oh, look at all those, that dottage all over the pages. Oh, they're, they're lovely. And they're really, they're really thick, really thick and robust. So, liking this. That's a nice book. Nice size as well for using the cover, and um, it's got some nice um, embossing on there. Can you see? I'm trying to show there, I think you can see there. Lovely, and down the side. And I've often sort of try and put some gold on that, and it'll look nice. So that's a good book. Oh, I've got a brown paper bag here. Oh, what's in here? I've been excited about, being, about getting a bag, I'm sure. So that can go in my drawer with bags. Oh, what have I got? I've got the Silver Jubilee of the Queen's Accession. I knew I had some first aid covers related to the, the Queen. So that can go in my journal as well. And it will have, it will have had, it will have something written on. So this is obviously 1977. That was the Queen's Silver Jubilee. I remember a street party. I remember being disappointed because it wasn't in the street. It was in a hall. It's like, well, that's not a street party then, is it? But it was done as though it was a street party. My sister was pregnant with my niece, I remember. They're very pregnant. So just tell you a little bit about it. So that'll go nice in one of the journals. I was, ho I was hoping to find one for each of the four. So one, what have we got there? That's the silver wedding. So that was earlier. That was 72 because they got married before she was on the throne so that's nice for a little there's nothing in that one nothing in that one oh 25th anniversary of the coronation so i've got some stamps there so i might not be generous with them <laughs> i might keep them um but let's have a little look see tracy fox did a little um video on having bought some things like this sort of a way that you get stamps so they're They've, they've not been used, so I might keep them for, you know, maybe some great-grandchildren down the line, if I'm ever blessed with grandchildren in the first place. Um, they might be worth something. I, do love it. I have got these used. I've got that one um, that's been used because I made a cluster out of it. But, yeah, that's cool. So I'm going to put it in my pot, as if I might put it in my royal journal. But, yeah, don't be surprised if when I do... Do a flip through, it doesn't appear because I might have kept it. Becoming a little bit of a, a fasc you know, fascinated by stamps and stuff. And what have we got here? So that was sent from Malta. Nice little envelope. That might be nice in my little postal journal, which, yeah, which is just down here, Jess. Why don't you put it down there? <gasps> no, because there's gubbins on top, so I won't. Right, what have we got here? Printing and enlarging. Oh, do you know, I think I got these locally in Beverly. Now it's coming back to me um, where I saw these. Now, it's looking through. It's shiny. I want sure. And then there was this at the back. And then I thought, all right, I'm having that. So I've got this lovely thing here. Oh, I'd completely forgotten. Completely forgotten. Got all these. All these little pictures. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, I, that's why I bought this. I thought that was worth £3 of anybody's money. They're just lovely. 
old photos. They're not too old and they're kind of the right era for some of the royal stuff that I've got. You know, cause obviously some of it's in the 30, well, goes further back than the 30s, but thinking of marriages and coronations and things. Just fantastic. And then you like up to 56. I'm kind of stopping around about 77 for the Queen Silver Jubilee. I've kind of made that decision. Somebody asked me that at the Rachel Bella retreat. Look at her. Absolutely. Love it. And oh, she's sweet. And uh, yeah, I said I don't want any colour photos. So, and like we said, the royal family gets a little bit muddy after, after a bit. So, yeah. And then there was a couple of these things. A little leaflet all about flash. Flash, it was that. That was what made me want this. Not so bothered about that. But yeah, I'd have bought this on its own. That is annoying me. Put it that way. Yeah, like that. I'll use it all separately. But that was fabulous. And what have we got here? All handicrafts. So this is 1950. Do you know, actually, or was it in the annex? Oh, it might have been an annex. Oh, I can't remember where I got it. There's no point in even trying to remember, Jez. But it might have been one of the antique shops in Annex. The one I didn't go last time. Oh, adverts. Do love. I do love old adverts. And this is all about handicrafts, which is quite, uh, quite fitting. Oh, this glue. Love a bit of glue. Love a bit of glue, I do. So, I found something can be clearing up that I thought I'm going to make it like a glue station. I'm always losing the glue. And I'm going to up upcycle a few things. So that's quite cute. Let me just go back a minute, Jez. Book ends with a sausage dog. Or dash hound, aren't they? Always be a sausage dog to me. That's nice. What have we got? Oh, yes. I'm liking them. I'm liking them a lot. So, yeah, and then all sorts of cubbies in the middle. But it's, you know, interesting paper. It's, it's, uh, it'll be nice. Cool, make your own slippers. No, life's too short. Um, but yeah. Ooh. Stagecoach. That'd be quite nice for me, Royal Journal, actually. Jezebel, that might be nice. Shove it in. I've done the pages there, haven't I? But yeah. So there we go. I do love that bookend. Oh, what have I got here? Oh. oh, so I got this in an Oxfam. The story of 70 momentous years. 70 momentous years of what? Of King George the V. <gasps> well, it's a good job I haven't finished my royal journals because... Oh, my days. I can tell you, I honestly, honestly have absolutely no memory of buying this book at all so let me just move this out of the way i'm just conscious of the fact that my room is just yeah <gasps> so this is 1865 to 1936 now so far i haven't gone that far back i haven't gone back to george v much she was beautiful she was stunning she uh Oh, oh look and then we've got queen victoria that's the the lineage and we've we've got right through to our queen that's just that'd be good wouldn't it oh i like it I like it a lot so love this fashion oh i'm so glad i am finished and that i'm still wanting oh look will you just look at that I might save that for a queen victoria one because i am going to do a queen victoria one so some of these I might save. Just look at those pictures. <gasps> I can't believe it. I can't believe that I... Well, I can believe that I completely forgot. Oh, Florence Nightingale. Oh, she'll do in... Um, I'm going to do a nursery journal. But, um, yeah, I can completely believe that I didn't remember this. But I also can't believe that I didn't remember this. So, yeah, it's fab. And actually, then it... Oh, look. Um, it does... Um, 
I'm going to flick from the back, it's easier. I think it, um, it will um, show major events that happened around the world as well at this time. That would be the start of so King George's last Christmas message. So it would be the start of the war and things, won't it? Different people. Oh, look at that. Stunning. Oh. Well, what a fine Jez. I <laughs> it's like I'm looking at it for the first time. I didn't know I had it. I love all these little pictures and that, although they're double-sided, so you'd have to choose, wouldn't you? So, yeah. Very fabulous. Very, very fabulous. Yeah. Oh, what a find that I forgot I had. Yeah. Oh, and then... <laughs> oh, pressure cooker. I remember... That's having a pressure cooker. Well, I've still got a pressure cooker. I'm used it all the time. And uh, yeah, so this is like how to cook with it. And I went, this might be quite useful because I might use my pressure cooker a bit more. Ours wasn't Presto though. I think it was Prestige, was it? But yeah, made me think of your mum that. Um, what have I got here? Good photography. I think this might be a mixture of... Um, Beverly and Annick, actually. We quite often go to Beverly. Every, well, quite often, maybe once a month. So some lovely photos in here. I thought it was worth it. It had some adverts as well, which I always like. So what year is it? 56. So there we go. And then we've got um, Cooking the Oxo Way. Do you remember the Oxford ad? Ox Oxford, Ox Oxo, Oxford. What do you like, Jess? Oxo ads. We had the Oxo family, do you remember? Belinda, what's the face, who died too young, as often people do. So, yeah, I like that. thought that was interesting. I'm kind of, I've got a sort of a 1950s sort of journal in my head as well. Um, so, here we go. This is the penultimate one. Um, so, can't read that. So, we've got ripped edges. Did I really pay that? Oh, I probably didn't. Got it from Barter Books, so this was probably uh, a generous um, book that um, went on my father-in-law's account or off his account. Um, so yeah, so it's 1920. Fred Frederick Locker Lumpson, Lumpson character sketch. So all that is a selection of letters and things. So I love all these things. So I've got some illustrations, but I love the fact that the the paper's not been you know, it's all uneven. The whole book's uneven. But we've got ooh, all these lovely things in there. <gasps> oh, yeah, like that. Some letters. That's that's a different different look to a page. Having some letters. Are they the only pictures, Jez? Oh, that's nice. Um, no, there's a few. There's a few illustrations. Yeah. Yeah like it probably wouldn't have spent that but oh and a library card i think there was enough in it i thought oh no i like that i like that but as i say it was it was a present whenever we go he always says get a book on me that's a terrible impression of my father-in-law so that was that and then the last thing i've had this ages i got this in happy mail a long time ago vintage style um and um i mean it's it's not it's not it's not old, 2011, but it's got old pictures in it. So, um, sort of worth it for the iconic pictures through it that I can use in different things. Oh, I used to love Debbie Harry. I still love Debbie Harry, Jez. It's not a, and look, I can fussy cut things out in there. So that's more modern. And then it goes back a bit more. So how cool is that? It's quite big for a paper doll to be fair, just though. But yeah, so I think there's a few things in here I can I can nick and use. I 
most deaf. Love that. Cut that out. Oh, lovely. I used to love Audrey Hepburn. She was so glamorous. Look at her. Just beautiful. Oh, Marilyn. Bring back people like that that aren't don't look like they need a good square meal. There we go. That that's that's my haul. That's my haul. And um, yeah, I've got a few more on the shelf. Um, I did. I've got the one that I did just recently, and um, and I've got an eBay haul to come up. So yeah, in the next few Sundays, um, I just need to get them filmed now. All right, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all again very very soon. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm working on my Rachel Bella, um, or I will be. I haven't started yet. My Rachel Bella um, collaboration um, thing. I've got two coming up. Um, one at the end of this week, I think, and one at the end of the following week. I'll be away when they come out, so I need to get them done. I need to get them done. I need to finish my room. There'll be a craft room tour coming up as well. Um, it's been a drastic makeover. Matt, it's as if I've changed rooms. That's how drastic it is. All right then. See you again soon. Bye.